Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon. I'm your host and guide, Chris13, and we're here in Muhashi. Now, for some reason there's no background music, and I don't know why. Not like it's too big a deal and we don't really need it, but here in Muhashi we've got Another silver fortune doll. Yep. There's our first one outside of Oedo Town, and we're one more fortune doll closer to gaining another heart piece. Uh, down here, you won't really find anything. You've got a little beach. You can do some swimming, I guess, if you want to, you know, work out. You can hunt for clams or do whatever you do at the beach, build a sand castle. Not really, but I guess you could pretend like you could, right? I guess it's just if you fell down, it'd be like, ha ha, that's not where you're actually supposed to go. Where you are supposed to go, however, is over this way. You Bam! Through the door. And into the tunnel. Am I going the right way? You know, I think I'm going the right way, so we'll just keep going this way. There's still no music, and that's really bothering me. I don't know why. Huh. Oh well, I guess the game just kind of glitched up. And yes, I am actually playing this on an N64 and, you know, not an emulator or anything. This is actually being played through a console. But I guess even consoles screw up sometimes. I'm hoping that if we just keep making our way towards some new area, eventually... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the music back. Alright, that's much better. Alright, and here we are, another new area, sort of, kind of. Not really much to it, we're just climbing up a big mountain here. Or not really a mountain, just a big hill. Got some big jumps up here. Nothing going- whoa! Going on can't handle. You do have to watch out for these slippery slopes, though. Right? You're gonna wanna take where it looks more like steps as opposed to the slopes. Alright. And progressing up. There is a path to it, and it's not that difficult. You just kinda have to keep your eyes out for where you can jump. Because, whoa, I missed that one. Alright, well, we'll go up this left hand side then. We'll just take this road instead. Grab some coins. Oh, wait. I thought we could make it up from the side. No, I guess not. Okay, fine. You know what? Jump back down. Uh, Alright. Climbing back up again. Uh, I hate when I fall. Alright, there we go. That's better. That's how we do it. That's how things are supposed to be. And over here we've got, you know, more super fruits for healing ourselves. Not like we need them, but they are there. And if you really want, you can go ahead and fall back down in certain spots. There are more coins that you can collect that you can't really grab on the way up. Or I just jump over them. Because I really don't need them, because I grabbed a few extra on my before the last episode, when we showed off all the, uh, um, yeah, the items. And, yeah, not really much to this area, just, you know, tunnel, the hill. Um, over here, we've got a cutscene and a big tower. Ooh, I wonder what could be in there. Whoa! Whoa, that's not cool, that's not good. Uh-oh. I think bad things are a-brewing. What could have happened? What's going on? Oh my! Alright, we gotta hurry over there. Come on, let's go see. Make sure everyone's alright. Oh dear, oh dear, oh me, oh my. <gasps> What's this? Oh, it looks like a shell. See this? It's the Triton shell. 
It summons that giant robot. Impact! Wise Man had it. And so... Is this rubble all that remains of Wise Man's house? Ooh. Hey man, what are you doing here? Oh my god, you're the weirdo from Oedo Castle. Not only Oedo Castle, but now the Wise Man's home? How senseless can you be? You... You weirdo! You keep calling me weirdo. It's not nice to call people names. I'm going to crush you with my robot. You coward! I'm not letting you get away this time. Uh, yeah, sure, might as well save. Because we got a boss battle coming up. And not just any boss battle, we got a special boss battle. Now, this is what makes the game, right here. As a kid, this was my favorite part. So yeah, like I was saying, this is basically my favorite part of the game, and if I can remember the controls here, what you're going to need to do is, you can smash things in front of you, you can also jump over, so you're going to need to, whoa, okay, I didn't jump soon enough, but, you can smash things, um, you're going to want to try to take as little damage as possible, you're going to need to jump over holes, not get hit by giant buildings, wow, wow, okay, I'm really not doing good here. Um, because you're going to want to... Shit. Ha! <laughs> wow, this is a lot more difficult when you're trying to talk and explain it all. Um, you're going to want to try and collect as many coins as possible. Because the more coins you have... Shit, forgot to jump. I was attacking. The more coins you have coming into the second part of this, the uh, more powerful you will be. Now, you've also got your energy at the bottom, so you've got to be careful getting shot by all these guys. Okay, wow, this delay is really killing me. Alright. I guess you really don't need to swing at anything except for the building, so I don't know why I'm doing that. But, as I was saying, try and collect coins. Um, get hit as few times as possible because you're going to want your health. And, yeah, the more coins you have, the more powerful power you will have when you come into the next, next area. And that is it, guys. Here comes Kashiwagi. Here comes the killer. Try not to die. Alright, now here what you're gonna need to do is you got... You can punch both hands. There are two punches. Right? And you're gonna need to hit the enemy. Now you can see in the bottom left there, you can see we've got a list of Ryo. That's how much we have for... Basically for special attacks, right? So we've got 315 over there, 419, the oil, that's our health. Up top, 1840, that's his health. So now it's down to 1750, we're down to 379, you've got a little radar there in the middle. Um, the Rio, you can shoot it, right? So we can do this, so we can hit him with that. That's one way to take him out, but that's kind of cheap, and I really don't like using that, it's kind of boring. Right, so now, um, you'll notice one punch is actually your fast punch. Wow, I totally missed all those too. Um, the other one is your powerful punch, right? So that's fast punch, that's powerful. So you can go like combos, you can do other things like that. Um, all depending on how you can hit him and what you can do. There's also like special moves you can do. If 
if you like know how to time it. Right? So here we can throw actually a uh, chain out at him and we can try and pull him in. And then when you pull him in, you can like give him a full combo. Like one, two, three punch. Or if you do it properly, you can be like one, two, kick. Alright, now here he goes. He's going into his next portion of his attacking. Uh, now these things, once again, you can take him out. You can get Ryo for all the things that he throws at you that you can catch. And that'll allow you to, you know, just shoot. You also need, you've got a... Where is it? There's a bar somewhere, and if that gets filled, crap. Right. You want to be careful with this chain, because... Um, if you're not, you'll get... You'll go to grab him around the same time that he'll shoot something out. You just see, and then I couldn't do anything to uh, get rid of the missile that was coming at me. But it does help a lot when it comes to uh, pulling him in so you can combo him. Alright, I really don't remember a lot of the combos. I will look those up, so hopefully I'll be able to figure them out for next time. Alright, there we go. You gotta pull him in, you gotta charge that bar in the middle, and... Like, the only one I remember is the one-two punch. Which is pretty simple, it's not really, like, anything, like... All that you need to figure out. And if you do it properly, he'll actually end up doing, like, as you saw that one time, the, uh, one-two kick. Oh, crap. No, shit! Ah, I forgot about the missiles. Pull him back in. Alright, one, two. Right, pull him back in. Come on, I want to do that one, two kick again. Because the kick is a lot more powerful for some reason. Ah, okay. Come on, back in. Back in. We can get that kick one more time, right? No, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh shit. Here we go. Powerful attack. Crap, crap. Crap, crap. Okay, gotta get rid of that thing. No, no, no. We're not gonna die here. We are not gonna die here. Seriously. We are not gonna die here. We're al we almost got him. We're not gonna lose. Right, one, two. Let's just keep doing the one, two punch. Because it's working for us, and I don't really remember how to do anything else. Right? Like, all the other combos, you're gonna need to use, like, other buttons that don't actually do anything. We don't seem to do anything otherwise. Um, you saw there that bar was flashing even though he was pulled in. That meant we actually had like special moves that we could do. Right, like there. Okay, cut it out. God damn it. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this a lot. Shit! Okay. Well, we lost. And we were so close too. I guess I should have really spent less time trying to figure out, like, how to combo and stuff, and what all the combos were. Ah, crap, man. One thing that sucks is you can't even pause it or anything. Either. Um, so it's not even like I can go and figure out what the combos are right now. Um, so, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna beat him, and the next time we wind up with some fight that's special, then I'll make sure I remember at least what some of them are, so that I can look it up. And I can show them to you guys. There we go, that's what it was. It was three punches and then a kick. So if you go one, two, or sorry, one, two, one, two, three punch when he's up close, he will actually do a kick instead, which is more powerful than just a punch. Um, you also do only have so many lives, so don't lose to him too much, because it does take off one of your shit. Alright, good, that came back just in time. And there we go, now we know the kick, and that's why the kick's more powerful, because you actually get an extra punch in there, so... One, two, three, kick! Hey, 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 I said kick! Damn it! Alright, we'll pull you back in. Come on. Come on. Alright, now once again, one, two, three... Hey! Seriously, why is it not working? It's stupid! One, two, three... Ah, oh, come on! Now it's not even doing any sort of attack when I hit that one. Ow, in your face. Alright, you know what? Really, I should probably just stop trying to do that and just sit down and beat him, but... Honestly, where's the fun in that, right? Did I get him? Yes, I got him. Okay. Whew, I thought that missed. Ugh. 
I don't know, the timing's kind of weird, and I've got a bit of delay here, uh, delay here, so that's probably why I'm having so much trouble with it. But, if you can figure it out, and... Like I said, like, even there, you can see, like... It wasn't even working for the, uh... Seriously, cut it out, man. I've had enough of you. Ah, and here you go again, stupid... Light man dude thing. Alright, where are you gonna stop? Where are you gonna stop, man? No, you should be done. Yeah, no, I'm not taking a hit. I've had it with you. You're going down, and you're going down now. I'm finishing this. One, two, three. Okay, now, seriously, why is my power hit not even hitting him now? Damn, in your face. Uh, now what are you gonna do? Run away? I don't think so. Alright, seriously, nothing's working. Oh well, at least this time we're in better shape than we were last time. Alright, one hit, that's fine, we can take that. We'll just quickly hit him with a few light hits and we'll finish him off easily. Hit him with a few of these. Pull him back in. Alright. Now you can also see down in the center, and like I said, I don't remember what any of the uh, powerful type moves were, like any of the special combos. There we go. Got a big kick in on him. Let's just finish him off with some of these. But down there in the middle, where you see the gauge that allows you to pull him in, right now it's flashing. That's because we were actually able to do one of our like super combo attacks, like a special attack kind of beam thing, but. As I said, I don't remember what any of them are. They actually require, like, intricate button combos that you need to hit. And... Yeah, like I said, the only one I remember is the punch-punch uh, kick, which wasn't really working for whatever reason. And that's it! Impact's done, we're finished with our first Impact boss battle. So, he's gonna head back to America to film his movie, and we're actually not gonna see him again for a long time. Which is kind of unfortunate, because Impact is awesome, and you only see him a few times throughout the course of the game. Like, you would think that if you're gonna put in some sort of special boss like that, like something like where you get to fight in a giant robot, you would put it in like a few times, but I think he only appears like three, maybe at most five times throughout the game. Now, that might not seem like much, but I guess with a game that's not really super long, that could be quite a bit, but it's seriously like, I find it's the funnest part of the game, and I just wish he was in there a bit more. Like, more of the boss battles, you got to go into your giant Megazord. But, I guess you do with what you have, and what we have is only a few times we're going to get to see him, so goodbye, Impact, until we see again, and goodbye, viewers, until the next episode.